Hello, and welcome to week five of the SCL Draft League. Uh, this is me, the Boston Badoofs, versus the Mighty Psyducks this week. Uh, this is going to be an interesting battle because my S tier, Conkledur, is going to do a lot of work versus most of his Pokemon. The only thing I'm really worried about is the Dragapult Gardevoir, maybe the Charizard. But I have a lot of things on my team because I'm such a bulky offensive team that can handle it well. Uh, another scary thing is Crawdont. If he whittles my team down enough, Aqua Jet kills everything. Oko's Rotom, all this kinds of stuff. So let me show you my team and why I chose what I chose. So first of all, I'm starting with Frostlass. I picked Frostlass because um, it's it's not really going to get any use in any other matchup. So I felt like I might as well bring it at least one week. I want every because last season I drafted Clay Doll and it was the only Pokemon that I didn't use <clears throat> that I didn't use ever. Sorry about that. Um, so I was like, I don't want to do the same thing. I want to use every Pokemon I drafted. They all have a use. So I picked Frostlass to take this week because I feel like it's decent against his team. Uh, and I don't really see an opportunity for it to come any other week. Um, another thing I should point out before is at the end of last week, I decided to trade for uh, Araquanid. I got rid of my Espeon for Araquanid, which is cool. But um, it's not going to be very useful this week, I don't think. He has Arctazolt that's really strong against water. And he has Charizard that's flying. And I felt like I need my other... Pokemon more than I need him. Uh, so I, I decided to opt to leave him out this week. But he's going to be very useful in the future, especially in the final couple of weeks if I make it to the playoffs because uh, I think he's going to be able to do a lot of work versus a lot of the people I'm expecting to be in those top four. So I brought Focus Sash Frostlass. It's important because even though Frostlass is naturally fast, I only gave it enough EVs to outspeed um, not like an invested Charizard a jolly max speed charizard because i'm not expecting him to bring durant this week and no matter what i will be outsped by dragapult so i brought um shadow ball for the dragapult and the gardevoir i have ice beam for the dragapult or the uh um vile plume and i have thunderbolt for the lapras or the crawdont or the charizard um, my fourth slot is Destiny Bond because I felt like Destiny Bond, um, if I, I, I outspeed most of his team, right? I should outspeed Scarfed Arctazolt, I believe, just naturally, unless mm, I'll have to double check that one. I might change the EVs before the battle if I don't. But if I'm Scarfed Arct, even if I'm, uh, if it's a Scar Scarfed Arctazolt, I live a hit from Bolt Beak. Ah. Okay, well, I when I was practicing, I I lived a hit from Bolt Beak if I outsped. So I'll have to double check those calcs. If I outspeed, um, I can't kill it with Shadow Ball. And the next turn I know I outspeed, I just Destiny Bond if I have to. It's also there. Um, I live a hit from Dragapult if I'm at full health. And I Destiny Bond, so he can't attack me if he decides to switch. I just Shadow Ball something on the switch. It does a lot of damage. I outspeed the rest of his team. Um, so that's good. It's also there for a surprise pickup at the end of a game. Because... Uh, if it's 1v1, I can I can uh, kill anything with Destiny Bond and sacrifice itself, so that's cool. Um, I think his typing is really good against this matchup. A lot of Pokemon in his team don't care to be hit by Ghost. It's really fast Ghost, too, so that's why I picked Frostlass. The Curse Body could come in handy, but mostly I'm just using it for the, fro the Focus Sash, which means that my next Pokemon, Corviknight, will have to uh, G-Max get rid of any Stealth Rocks if he decides to bring Colossal. My only removal on this team is his G-Max Wind Rage. So hopefully uh, I won't have to worry about the Stealth Rocks, but if I do, I have that there in the back just in case. I have Brave Bird Iron Head Body Press this week because I felt like the coverage is way more important than the bulk up this week because I also put bulk up on a different Pokemon. And Roost is there because I can stall out the Lapras... Um, G Max, what is it? It's the G Max, uh, it starts with an R, whatever. It sets up a Roar Veil, it does 60% max. I roost if I outspeed, I um, don't get hit very hard by the next one because I lose my flying type. I'm no longer uh, neutral, I'm resistant, and then I can just stall it out without even having to G Max. So that's pretty cool. I have body press there because when I G Max, I plan to use the Steel Spike. Uh, which will get me the defense bonuses. And then Body Press deals with 
Crawdont, Arctazolt, uh, Colossal, Lapras without having to worry too much. Um, Brave Bird is just there for the stab extra damage if I need it on something. It hits Vile Plume hard. Um, and Iron Head's also important outside of G Max because it's a stab steel move and he has a lot that that hits naturally. Um, but Body Press is kind of the strange one this week. Like I said, if I'm getting the defense boosts from the Iron Head, I want to be able to kill things like the Crawdont or the Lapras. Um, if he has a Roar Veil, I don't have uh, Brick Break on Conkeldur. I have it on Drapion, but Drapion naturally outspeeds. So uh, if he kills me with the, uh, his G-Max move, then it'll just reset it up and it's going to be a waste. So uh, it's it's there for after the G-Max is over or if uh, I can kill it from the range it's at. There's about 40, 42% to the Lapras through the Brick Break with a Brick Break. So uh that's only if I can get really uh, lucky and stall it out a bit. So as for my Conkleder, I brought Guts Flame Orb. Originally, it was Assault Vest. or um, I had a couple things in this spot, and I couldn't really decide. But I opted to go for the set that I've been doing, uh, Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Knock Off, with Bulk Up. Because if I get a Bulk Up or two, the only thing that really threatens me is the Gardevoir and the Charizard. I can live a Draco Meteor from a Dragapult. Um, Mock Punch cleans up almost everything on his team. It does like 23% to a Charizard when it's not, or to the Arctazolt when it's not burned. So if I can get uh, the Flame Orb to activate with the Volt Switch on Rotom, then it's just going to do a lot of damage to a lot of his team. And if the speed doesn't matter, I'm so bulky that I can live a hit from full and get Drain Punch most of my health back. Like I said, the only things that are scary are the Gardevoir and the Charizard. And... Possibly the Crawdont. I think Crab Hammer still kills me. But that being said, I don't plan to fight him with Conkledur. Uh If I do, it'll be with the Mock Punch after I know he's ban choiced into something because he's probably going to choice band it. Um, and I'm pretty sure I leave an Aqua Jet and not a Crab Hammer. So Conkledur is a really strong Pokemon. If he doesn't have Charizard on his team, I might lead it. Um, as long as he doesn't lead Gardevoir, I should be okay. Uh, I can get a drain punch off or a knock off on something because uh, no matter what, I will die to the um, moon blast or the psychic. They both like Okomi. I had a, a psychic berry on him originally. I was like, it's just not worth it. I need that burn to do that extra damage. I don't expect him to run will o wisp or uh, any status really. So I'm like, okay, I'll just put it on again this week. I have to find. I want to find a week where I could change his setup a bit, but I haven't really had that chance yet. And then again with my copy pastes is uh, Gudra. Uh, I don't know why Sapsipper's on. I guess Vile Plume, but I'm not really too scared of anything on on his team using Grass. I'm not really weak to Grass. I don't have Quagsire or Ride on this week, so maybe I should put. Should I? Maybe I should put Gooey because his team is relatively fast. If I have to, I guess I'll put Gooey. So I'm going to put Gooey because Arctazolt, uh, Colossal, Crowdon, any of those will be outsped if they have minus one speed by the things that are questionably slower than it. So, for example, if Crowdon is not um, speed invested or choice or something, Conkleder will outspeed it with a drain punch and I could kill it and get health back. So. Uh, I think Gooey is probably the way to go. I'm not too worried about Vileplume. I have Rotom. I have Corviknight. Uh, and I think that I should be safe. So I'm going to leave that. I have Dragon Pulse instead of Draco Meteor this week because um, Dragon Pulse does like 150 minimum to, to Dragapult. And I take like 49% from a Draco Meteor. So it's he's ridiculously bulky. Um, Fire Blast is there for the Arctazolt um, and the Vileplume. Thunderbolt is there for the Lapras Crawdont, uh, Charizard whatever needs to get hit by it surf hits um charizard colossal too so it's just got a lot of coverage it's super bulky especially defensive assault vest modest nature just to hit things hard dragon pulse does a lot to everything except uh gardevoir of course but i'm not planning to stay on that either so gudra conkledor are scared of the gardevoir but i have corviknight i have frost last drapion all can deal with it pretty well even rotom heat if it doesn't take much damage can take it so now to my Drapion, I have Black Sludge on it with Battle Armor. Don't want to get crit. Um, knock off Poison Jab, kind of standard there. But I put Brick Break on it so I have to, I can get rid of the uh, Aurora Veil if he decides to set it up. I also have Swords Dance because if he switches something into me, I get a Swords Dance off. I outspeed 
basically everything on his team. I don't get one hit by anything except maybe the Durant. Um, but Dragapult does no Komi. Uh, I don't believe I have the eight special defense. I think that it leaves lives a Draco meteor at like 99.3 or something. So um, that's why that's there. It's not really important, but it's good to switch in on the psychic moves. I'm predicting if it uses Moonblast, that's unfortunate, but I can still knock it off and sack it um, and still like live the first hit and outspeed unless it's scarfed. But uh, if he's going to scarf anything, it's probably going to be the uh, arc desult because my team is not too quick already arc desult ties or arc desult gets pretty high up there only thing it doesn't outspeed is the uh, whimsicott frost last but i'm not bringing whimsicott this week because nothing on my nothing on his team uh is really scared of it so i didn't take it at all so that's why i don't have whimsicott uh the scarfs I mean, I guess Gardevoir could be Scarfed, but honestly, I have so much um, bulk that I'm not too worried about it. I'll have to figure it out as we go. I don't have any choice items this week, which is very strange for me. I always have at least one or two, um, but I'm not too worried about the speed. So my last Pokemon is Rotom Heat. It is Expert Belt. I had Will-O-Wisp over Nasty Plot, but I decided to put Nasty Plot in there just because uh, after Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball guaranteed Oko's the Dragapult. And right now, it's at a two-hit KO. Um, basically I switch it in on the fire move he has for Corviknight, set up a nasty plot, Draco Meteor, I still live, and then I can Shadow Ball. I mean, if he stays in and he attacks me, it's a problem. So I'll probably just go for the Shadow Ball, but the nasty plot's there if I can find an opening to set up, because it'll hit everything on his team really hard. The Volt Switch instead of Thunderbolt is kind of unfortunate because of nasty plot, but I still think it's a good pick, so... Uh, our battle is going to happen very soon. Uh, I will cut it into this video as soon as possible. Um, wish me luck. I'm not too worried about this week, but he has some really strong Pokemon. So I think that it is still going to be a challenge. And uh, wish me luck. Thanks. All right. The battle has started. And he has Durant, which I did not expect. So we'll see how this goes. Uh-oh. That's loud. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Um, I don't really know what he's going to lead, but I'm going to lead with my Rotom anyway. That's cool. I'm going to Volt Switch just to see what he plans to do. I don't know if he'll stay in on this. But I'm not too worried because I my Rotom will live any hit. And if he outspeeds me, then he's Scarfed, which is good to know off the bat. Come on, buddy. Make your move. <laughs> He's scared. He's got Sir Fetch too, but I don't think I have to worry about that when I have Corviknight, so we'll see. He does Oko Drapion with a close combat. He didn't bring Arctazolt, which is interesting, because that would have given me a problem. So... Oh no. That's very bad for him. Um, that is very tragic because Cardon is probably the scariest thing on his team for me right now. He's looking to send Gardevoir again. Oh, Sir Fetched. Um, I kind of just want to knock off because I don't think he could kill me and I, do, I am interested in what set he decided to bring. Yeah, he has a Brave Bird on that. He was Assault Vest. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, he outsped me. I think I could just go Corviknight here.
Yeah, nice. Okay. Um, I don't want to mess with this thing. So I'm going to just pick the Brave Bird. Okay, well that's gonna do a decent amount of damage. So I think that if I G-Max here, he can't kill me. And I kill him with the G-Max Wind Rage. For base 120 killed. I think that I can go for the Steel Spike and get the defense boost, live his Fire Blast. Oh, he will o me. Good tech. But that's okay. I'm not really scared of it. It'll die to another Steel Spike regardless. I get my boost up, and it, my body press is only calculated using my defense. So once I can destroy the Dragapult, um, I don't know what he's going to do. I think body press was very important in this match because of that. I wasn't expecting him to use will o but I mean, hey, if it works, it works, right? Like... He's probably the three attacks will o -Wisp, which is interesting. He's probably going to switch. Oh, he hexed. Okay. I'm guessing his Lapras is probably um, special. Uh, I think I live a hit and steal Spike. Unless he's Specs. He's probably Specs. He went for the Thunderbolt, though. Did he? He switched. Well, if he's choicing the Thunderbolt, then Gudra should be a good pick. Yeah, I did nothing. The Paralyze would have been unfortunate, but I wasn't too worried about it. I think I just go for my own Thunderbolt here. Um. It hits anything that switches in really hard, except maybe Durant, but Durant's not bulky enough to take many hits, so this will at least tell me whether or not he's choice specs. Maybe I can 6L him. I feel like that'd be really rude, but I kind of want to do it because I didn't see a way to, to 6L him originally. Um, and getting rid of his Gardevoir means that his only threatening thing left is his Durant, because his uh, Lapras can't kill me. And I'm not scared of his Surfetch, it's almost dead, so... I'd probably switch Surfetch into this. Yeah, sack the Surfetch. Okay. And now, if he's Specs, he probably thinks he could kill me with a Moon Blast, and he's gonna go back into Gardevoir. Yeah, he's Specs. So I'm gonna go for another Thunderbolt. I don't think he can kill me, and if he kills me, it's okay. Yeah, he can't kill me. Kill the Gardevoir. Because Lapras is still full health, which is a problem. Well, the Durant's definitely going to outspeed. And I kind of don't want to sack him. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go into... Drapion. He's probably the one I care about the least at this point. Um, he has Brick Break, but I can kill his uh, Lapras with a multitude of things at this point, so I don't, also don't care about that too much. Ah, uh, and he missed. That was another thing I was banking on, is if he missed because of the uh, hustle. So I think I'm going to go for the sword stance here.
this is going a lot better than I expected, but he did miss that first impression. Um, it's, uh, that's very big. Because honestly, I was going to sack this Drapion, and considering how strong Durant is, it might have just died outright to a first impression, so I don't know. I don't know if it mattered, but I think it might have. Oh no. I'm so sorry, man. The Durant is just betraying you. Oh my- I'm so sorry, man. Three misses in a row. Um... I don't even have words for that. That's just tragic. And Thunderfang's accuracy is 90 or 95. It shouldn't have missed twice. I'm just I got to spam brick break here. I feel really bad because that hustle hustle is such a strong ability but it's so double edged and as you can see there like three misses in a row is just That's just unfortunate. I guess the hacks is making up for me for last week when uh, he crit me on the last turn and he burned me on the first turn, but like, this is not the match I wanted that hacks to come back for. <laughs> so Gmax Resplendence, is that what it's called? Resplendent? G Max. It'll set up Aurora Veil. I'll break it, because I'll live a hit. I think it does like 59% or something. At this point, it's impossible for me to lose. But I don't want to mean I don't want to give up. I wanna see if I can preserve this 6-0. It doesn't I don't really think I can. Cause he's gonna go oh weakness policy interesting resonance that's what it's called weakness policy i like it that's problem right there um i don't think it's gonna matter too much though i think i'm gonna volt switch and then i'm gonna sack my gudra Nice. So I stall out another turn because he used a water attack, like I expected. I'm gonna get a Thunderbolt off if he... I mean, he might... Yeah, he has speed investment. So he has the Mindstorm, which means I can't use Mock Punch. I think it's time. So I Thunderbolt because I don't want to waste the Destiny Bond. I potentially kill it. If I don't kill it, uh, I just Destiny Bond next turn. I mean, it has a screen, so I probably don't kill. But if it's a two-hit KO, I'll just Thunderbolt again next turn. Weakness policy was very interesting. I didn't expect that at all. I thought maybe he would go Light Clay, which means uh, it's got two more turns left of this. It's not a two-hit KO. Takes me down to my sash. And I just destiny bond. Nice! I got the destiny bond. And the curse body. GG, man. Uh, it got a little scary at the end. I was trying to preserve that 6 0. But 3 uh, 0 is still good. I mean, could have been a 4 0 if I switched. Hmm. Nah, it was fine. Uh, good game, man. Uh, it was very unfortunate with those hustle misses, dude. That was tragic. But hey, that's the risk you gotta take when you're playing with a hustle Pokemon. Wish me luck next week.